I'm Adrian, and welcome to the sequel to one of my most popular top 10s. In those comments, I saw suggestions for other mech games that are also great, so I decided to make a follow-up video. Here are 10 more excellent games where you pilot a giant robot, mech, or mecha. Let's begin. Number 10. Override 2. Super Mech League. This fighting game is easy to get into as the controls are mapped very intuitively on the triggers and bumpers. You can string together individual moves for quick combos as well. The stages all have their unique themes and parts that are destructible. Each character also has an awesome super attack. A personal big selling point for me was the fact that the game features Ultraman DLC, where you're given the option to control none other than Ultraman from the Netflix series. Granted that he hasn't turned into a giant in that show just yet, but who's to say that couldn't happen in the future? I also enjoyed this character right here since he looks like a dinosaur. And not only that, he does the... So yeah, giant mechs and the legendary push kick? Game of the year. Number 9. Project Nimbus. The mechs in this game operate like jets that just happen to be giant robots. They fly at blisteringly fast speeds, have an arsenal of weapons at their disposal, and deal with multiple targets in the air. Although there really isn't much customization, as you progress through the story, you will pilot a variety of mechs with different weapons. However, it would be nice if the bad guys didn't look so small, as most of the time they're about the same size as the crosshair. No, not that crosshair! Number 8! Metal Warriors for its time, the presentation of this game is truly astounding. You're treated to a soundtrack clearly inspired by so many mech animes, with some top-notch 16-bit cutscenes. The gameplay itself is also pretty awesome, as you've got an integrated jetpack, powerful weapons, and can even get out of your mech at will. As you progress through the game, you will control other mechs, and they each have their own unique design and function as well. So if you're looking for a classic mech side-scrolling game straight from the 90s, you can't go wrong with Metal Warriors published by Konami and developed by LucasArts. I guess the lightsaber makes perfect sense now. Number seven. Lost Planet, Extreme Condition. Lost Planet is a unique series in the sense that each entry was pretty different from one another. The first one, and the one that earns a place on this list, is a shooter with survival elements as you're constantly losing thermal energy and must keep replenishing it to move on. The mechs you pilot are nothing short of awesome. There's actually a great variety to the mechs you control and their scenarios are a blast to play. The sequel, Lost Planet 2, focused primarily on being a co-op game, while Lost Planet 3 was a semi-open world third-person shooter, with the mech being a first-person experience. So with three different kinds of action within the franchise, Lost Planet is thus the three-flavored sherbet in the mech pantheon of gaming. Number 6. Hardcore Mecha. You jump into the action right away with a fun guided tutorial, and the brief cutscenes in the level help set the mood. Sure, at the end of the day you're dealing with a bunch of anime tropes, but it's fun to have a bit of context behind all the blasting. Gameplay consists of close quarters attacks, boosting, and firing at several enemies with different weapons. You confront challenging bosses along the way, with the first one being a screen-filling behemoth of a mech. There's quite a bit of customization too in order to make yourself more powerful, and there are segments of the game where you get out of the mech and run around on foot. The game's presentation is also top-notch, and the anime art style present throughout the game's cutscenes works incredibly well too. Number 5. Gundam Breaker 3 Break Edition With an incredible library of games to choose from in this franchise, I searched online to find a modern Gundam game that everyone unanimously agreed was great, and eventually found Gundam Breaker 3 Break Edition. Its main storyline acknowledges that you are essentially controlling miniature mechs, or Gunplas, which is short for Gundam Plastic Models. As expected, a huge part of the fun factor in the game is from the robust customization options available to you. You can swap out every major piece in your mech and customize it to your heart's content, creating original designs of your own, or making them look like characters that exist in other franchises, such as my Grimlock-inspired one. The gameplay loop revolves around completing missions in which you gain more parts in order to better equip your mech for the next mission. The combat system is simple to learn, with heavy and light attacks, an option to launch enemies into the air to continue attacking them, and a couple rechargeable super attacks. At the end of the day though, your enjoyment of the game really depends on how into Gundam you are. And if you can't wait to toil away at creating your perfect Gumpla, and your shelves just can't fit any more of them, it really doesn't get much better than this. Number 4! MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Much like Gundam, MechWarrior is a long-standing franchise that finds its roots in the universe of Battletech. It can be difficult to obtain the earlier entries in the franchise, so I went with recommending the most recent title available on several platforms. 
MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. MechWarrior 5 is not so much a mech game as it is a mech sim, if you can even call it that. It places a great deal of emphasis on mech customization, giving you a level of control in equipping and fine-tuning parts rarely seen in other games. The controls are also extremely complex, but whether you're playing with a controller and keyboard or gamepad, they do convey the sense that you're piloting a gigantic mech. Number 3. Wartech Fighters Wartech Fighters feels like a playable Saturday morning mech cartoon. From the rock and soundtrack to the well done intro sequence that plays before each level, where you blast out into the vast openness of space, it all feels just right. The gameplay loop is very familiar to the genre, as you engage in a series of missions to then upgrade and customize your mech to then engage in more missions. During each level you can attack your enemies from afar with a variety of weapons, or defeat them up close with a range of really great takedown animations including awesome stuff like flying sidekicks. Your enemies will also lock onto you pretty easily, so using your shield wisely is essential. A definite highlight for me is that you can engage in one-on-one -on -one battles with enemy mechs, with the game switching into an intense sword fight minigame. The customization options are pretty great too, and have their own unique design to them. That being said, there is one annoying thing the game does and that is occasionally asking you to find random sections in some space pillar. It feels like stopping a really great movie to look for your keys. Number 2 Zone of the Enders – The Second Runner In my previous top 10 mech games, I included the first Zone of the Enders, but did not include the second one because I remembered not liking it too much. But I read your comments suggesting I give it another shot, and I found myself enjoying it a lot more the second time around, nearly 7 years after I had last played it. It's an extremely well-made sequel from every corner, the gameplay is just as refined, intense, and enjoyable as the first entry, with slight modifications to make it even better. You shoot different projectile attacks from afar and have sword attacks up close where you can launch your enemy upwards or downwards at the end of a combo. You also have a host of incredibly cool sub-weapons to play around with during combat, along with a refined targeting system for taking out multiple smaller enemies at once. And during your second playthrough, you can have access to all those sub-weapons right from the beginning if you wish. The protagonist is also a brand new guy this time around, and his story is actually pretty compelling, as Jehudi is not only a cool mech, but turns into a literal life support system for him. Honorable mention. Front Mission 3 If you're looking for a top tier mech RPG experience, with a great story and excellent gameplay mechanics, you need to play Front Mission 3, the very first Front Mission released outside of Japan, and one of the best in the series. Number 1 Armored Core For Answer this game takes all that intricate customization, challenging gameplay, and great mechanics from the series and turns it to 11. It's Armored Core at its core, but the game's pace and action increase considerably. So if you want classic Armored Core gameplay and the ability to truly fly, I highly recommend Armored Core for answer. I'd like to thank each one of my Patreon members as their contribution helped in the making of this video. If you'd like to contribute and appear in the credits in the future, my Patreon page is Godzilla Rex and it's in the description below. Thanks for watching. Which is your favorite mech game? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome videos and see you next time.